We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Like everybody, the coronavirus is affecting our daily lives and our around the world drive has now come to a standstill. So after spending ages chatting to the company about the GoPro, we didn't really get anywhere initially. They weren't gonna refund it until they got the camera back. They couldn't tell us which UPS office it was. UPS said it was still out for delivery, but it still didn't show up. But we did manage to get um, the details of the UPS office. Eventually I managed to get them to call Chalal here. He spoke to them in Turkish and they got the address of another UPS office. So fingers crossed we should be heading there to find the camera later. Müsaitsiniz Celal Bey sizi yarım saate kadar ışıklarda bekliyor. If you're allowed Chalal is waiting for you lights up to half an hour. Can Chalal tell me the address he wants to meet us? Aksaray ışıklarda sizi bekliyor. Köprünün altında tam. He's waiting for you in the lights under the bridge. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Okay. I understand. Now. 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 Siz şimdi çıkarsanız, Celal Bey orada bek şu anda sizi bekliyor. 15-20 dakika orada bekleyecek. Thank you for saying if you go there now. He'll meet you. If you leave now, I will be there waiting for you. He will wait there. Yeah. 15, 4, 15, 20. Okay. Okay. Okay, great news. We are going to meet Chalal, who's going to show us where the UPS office is. And we are going to attempt, for the final time, we hope, to pick up the GoPro that's been going on for, I think, nine days now. So we think we're meeting him under the bridge, uh, five minutes walk from here. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Apparently yeah, you'd think a tracked package you'd actually be able to track. Yeah. <laughs> But they, but they no can't. <laughs> they have no idea where it's been. Yeah. So uh, interesting. Yeah. Hopefully it's there. Without Chalal's help, we would be stuffed. Definitely. Definitely. So we've met up with Chalal and uh, we are having a little bit of breakfast. We've got some soup and some uh, green leaves and some chilies bread. some bread it looks lovely what is in it what do you make lentils oh nice mm, it's a lovely lentil soup it's delicious so chalal say that normally the turks have like a lentil soup for breakfast as a tradition it's really good nice it's not really lentil actually it's very um Creamy, isn't it? Yes, lovely. It's really creamy. Good job. Oh, there's okay. There's a of lemon. So we're off on the tram. How exciting. <laughs> Okay, so we've come off the tram and it's about a five minute walk from here. I didn't realize we were going on the tram. I thought it was just around the corner. So we're just stopping to get some directions. We think we've got about five minutes to go. It's so exciting. I hope it's there. It's amazing. You've got this wooden house just in the middle of all the modern concrete. Beautiful. So it seems the address was a little bit wrong. We've got directions to another UPS office nearby. Jalal's our hero. Jalal is our hero. There's not a chance in hell we'll do this without him. Okay, we think it's down this road here. 
Where is UPS? Oh, it's getting a bit hot. UPS. UPS. <laughs> You're right, love. <laughs> okay, chill out. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> they bringing? No, telephone. Your telephone? Yes, sir. Okay. What's happening? I think the driver's coming back. Ne oluyor? Ne oluyor? Beni arayacaklar. Bugün gelecekler bizim oraya. Apparently they're going to call him today and they're going to bring it today. Oh, where? To... Uh, Here? To camping. Camping, yes. Okay, so apparently that is the right office for the GoPro. But it's not there at the moment. So they're going to deliver it to the campsite, the parking today. So they're going to get it to here and then Chilau's left the number here and then they're going to send it to the campsite. So fingers crossed we should have it later today. Look at all the seagulls. It's really interesting because as we said so many times, you can't beat local knowledge. So for us, it's really important uh, to get local knowledge. So Chilau's superb and has been looking at the map with Chris at all the different places and what's the best place to go. So you can't beat local knowledge. Whoa, party! Yay! <laughs> UPS. UPS. Yes. Okay, tell them. Yes, Marianne. Yeah. Marianne. Ah, UPS. I can't believe it. It's amazing. After chasing it so many days, there should be a there should be a new camera. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure it's the right model. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Look! GoPro 7! GoPro 7! Woo! High five! I can't believe it! I'm going to show you my keeping busy strategy over the coronavirus time. Obviously you've seen some of our cats and our dogs and everything else, but I'm so proud. Um, Chilau put me in charge of watering the ve vegetables and keeping an eye on everything. Although he's very much on snail duty, he's been protecting everything. But look what happened a couple of days ago. I've been watching them grow. I've got little cucumbers. Most of my plants have now got little flowers coming through all the way along here. How fabulous. So those are all my cucumbers along there. And then here I've got all my tomato plants. So I've been picking those out. And then those are all the roses. Look how beautiful they are. And then there's my aloe vera that's looking lovely. That is my Greek basil. Here are more tomato plants. And then here's Corona. Hey cat, how you doing? We're gonna miss you, even though you are a bit scratchy and bitey sometimes. Um, and then yeah, there's all the tomato plants along there. And there's cinders, keeping an eye just in case I'm feeding. My job here is to water and keep everything nourished. So I'm gonna do the quick watering. It hasn't been, it's gone cloudy now. So the sun's gone, so I think I can probably start watering now. So we've come out for dinner. What a rare experience because this hasn't happened since we've been in Istanbul and it is a little noisy because we're right by the main road. But actually, this is the place where we've been getting our kebab deliveries from whilst we've been self-isolating in the van. So those couple of times we did get a kebab, uh, this is where we've been coming. So we thought we'd treat ourselves because uh, they've got more food available now. So uh, I'm starving and I can't wait. We've got fresh lemonade. Look at that. It's delicious. 
Oh, that's. It's, I think it's got a bit of orange in it as well. Yeah, it tastes like I'm drinking fresh orange, lemon, and mint. Mm, that's really good. It's like drinking minty lemon curd. Amazing. You got to see how good this looks. We got mixed meat, rice, grilled chilies, some potatoes, some different salads and onions, and a yogurt dip, and a grilled tomato, and some leaves. We got some bread. We got some, what is this called? Esme, I think. Esme. And uh, it's like a spicy mixed tomato and really, really flavorsome. And uh, Marianne's got the same, but not so spicy. And it looks absolutely amazing. Let's tuck in. How good was that meal? That was actually a meat feast challenge. Um, delicious really really delicious it's nice to get out and uh, eat some decent food and uh, yeah we uh, may not move for a while so as you know during these crazy times we like to share the experiences of our friends around the globe and today we're sending you to our friends Mark and Jenny back in the UK Hi, Chris, Marianne. Where do we live? Loughborough! And we've been staying at home, but we've been keeping really busy. I did TikToks! <laughs> <laughs> we've also been doing Joe Wicks! And then you've been helping Daddy with some slow motion photography. Do you remember when we did that with the grapes? We did lots of arts and crafts and Lego. Yeah. And we've been, and we've been playing water squatters. And we've been riding our bikes in the woods. Uh, and one of the things that we do on a Sunday is uh, we meet out with the neighbours. Uh, they're lovely people and have made this lockdown so much nicer to deal with. Hi guys! Hope you're yeah, safe and well over in Turkey. Look, Chris and Marianne, <laughs> if you ever meet me, you will completely understand I'm not with it. We've been roped into this to say hi to you. All the best. Hello Chris Hello. and Marianne. Chris and Marianne. What have we been doing? Yep. Baking. Pouring weight on. Alright, I'm more face for radio than I am for TV, to be honest with you. We've been doing Joe Wicks exercise, haven't we? Joe's been Sorry. making scrubs for the hospitals. And then schoolwork with mummy. How's school with mummy? <laughs> Hi, Chris and Marianne. Uh, since lockdown, we've done nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is cooking all the time, we put in some way down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris and Marianne. <laughs> Come on! Oh, you've been doing all the cleaning around the house. What's Cam been doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all the other jobs. <laughs> um, I used to be six stone. I'm no longer six stone. Has Raj so, done much cooking? No, much <laughs> messing. <laughs> Oh, this is my husband Mick, by the way. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot he was there. Say hi, Mick. Hi, Mick. We also go out on a Thursday and uh, clap for the NHS, for the key workers, and for all those people that are still out there working, looking after us during this pandemic. <laughs> and of course, we remembered uh, Captain Tom as well, and he got a happy birthday sung to him in the middle of the street. Felt a bit weird. Happy birthday! So as well as being an amazing cook, what Jenny won't tell you is that she also knits. She's been knitting these. Ooh, how cool is that? And she's been selling these for five pounds for, to go into people's windows. And all the money that she's made from these has gone straight into charity for the NHS to help make uh, the uh, masks and headbands and the headbands that people have been wearing to keep the pressure off their ears uh, for the NHS. Look at these, all of these that she's created from knitting and crocheting and all of these she sells for a variety of different prices and all the money that she makes from these goes to a charity that we support called Me and Dee that provide um, holidays and memories for families 
with short and uncertain futures. So because I've been at home uh, looking after three cohorts of college students that I teach, uh, catching up every day with my colleague Joe, who I work with. For and this is what we've been. This is how we've been. This is how we've been communicating for the last eight weeks. I hope you guys are all okay. Still stuck in Turkey, and uh, best of luck to you. And may you, uh, your journey continue, hopefully, sooner rather than later. So, in order to try and get a little bit of fresh air, I've been going out every day and uh, trying to do a bit of a walk early doors in the morning uh, then I don't see anybody and uh, lots of uh, lots of wildlife out and some very very picturesque part of the country that we live in that cool little signets so chris and marianne i hope you've really enjoyed uh, a little look at what we've been doing during lockdown uh keep on looking after each other out there and uh, i know you'll be looked after by your neighbors because hey you're in turkey and the turks are absolutely wonderful people uh so keep safe look after one another and we'll see you when you get home oh you're still here don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell notification and we will see you on the next episode.